Hello everybody. In this video we will talk about registration memory in Catron keyboards. Catron SD90, Catron SD60, Catron SD9. Like every uh, top line uh, arranger, for example Genos and Korg, Catron has as well very powerful registration memory. All of them they have same functionality but it is different way how to find those functionality. Now we'll go through L uh, registration memory in Catron and you will see that it's extremely powerful registration memory that we can find on Catron keyboards. Before you decide to put something in registration memory, you have to think about what do you want to have in that registration memory. Do you want to have style? Do you want to start style with variation 1, 2, 3 or A, B, C, D? Do you want to start style with intro? You want to think about which kind of sounds do you have? Uh, uh, do you want to have together with the style? Save them together with the style. Then, do you want to have transpose? Which scale do you want to have? Uh, do you want to have voice list? Uh, and uh, which kind of mix do you want to have? So you have to gather your thoughts. You have to think, and whatever functionality you want to have with your registration memory, you can get it here in Catron world. When you have your thoughts, what you want to do, then you will press menu button below the screen. Menu button, now you will go to registration setup. And in registration setup, you can decide which kind of functionality do you want to save with your registration. You can select general and in general you have several options. What do you want to save? You can press uh, this uh, function and if it's this color uh, yellow or uh, something like between yellow and uh, going a little bit orange now this uh, color is on position this is off position same like in genus you have check mark here you can on off function that you want to have now style in style you have more options that are divided and you can be very precise if you want to save split, you can save split, key st uh, start, key stop, you can uh, choose pianist and bassist mode, you can choose bass, drums, drum mix, whatever function you want to choose, you will choose. Voice functions, play mode, DSP effects, MIDI functions, microphone settings, microphone 2 or guitar input settings, so whatever you want to choose, Whatever you thought you want to have in registration memory, you can choose it here and you can save with your registration. Let us exit from here and press this registration button that is in upper right corner be, uh, here beside the screen. Uh, when you press it, you will get to your registration. You have four banks of registration. Each bank you can put 1024 songs. It is a lot of a lot of space over 4100 songs you can put there in registration bank. Now in registration bank all those songs you can see you can scroll down like this you can search them and you can call them right away if you put number beside of the song in registration memory and you can write that number on piece of paper when you have lyric of your song and, or an iPod and if you have number Press numerical pod and you can call that song just to putting number 100 and that is song that is under that number. Put another number 900, that is that song. If you put number 700, that song. Any number that you put here, 604, you will get song that is under that number. I have here thousands of the song. And you have it in bank one bank 2, bank 3, bank 4. Beside of those songs you can save 5 dedicated sounds. Bef beside of those 5 dedicated sounds you can save voice list with 10 more sounds. There's 15 actually not sounds. All of those are sound combination. If you press the sound and you if you open that sound that is say let me go to that accordion if you open, you can see that it's combination of four sounds, three upper sounds and one lower sound. So that is a lot, a lot of 
things that you can save together with your, in your registration memory. So that is very short video to the point just to give you an idea how powerful is registration memory in Catron keyboards. So uh, maybe you didn't think about that, maybe you didn't read about that, but now for those who has Catron keyboard, now they know that uh, information and who do, for those who doesn't uh, play Catron keyboards, now they can see that Catron keyboards, they have all this, all those possibilities like other top line of the keyboards. So as I mentioned at the beginning, all of them, uh, they have features, just different way to go to those features and think on those ways. Uh, read those manuals before you use keyboard or you can come to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is tutorial channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is about helping you how to get information, how to do something, how to uh, know some functions in your favorite keyboards. So my channel is not about uh, uh, playing something, selling you sets, uh, selling you uh, some sounds or uh, playing some mixes or cover music videos and then have a lot of views on these things. No, I'm uh, my channel is focused to help people uh, to teach them how to know some functions, how to get something from your music instrument. So please subscribe and follow me and I will uh, explain you everything about this. If you need any help, please put comment below and please don't contact me with emails. I don't have time and I cannot give you my uh, contact number because uh, there is over t uh, 2000 subscribers and number of subscribers is um, growing. Every week I get another 100 subscribers. So I don't have time to answer your emails or to give you my phone numbers and to talk to you because uh, I have my channel and let us deal with all comments uh, below the video. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.